this is the Adonis standalone cable tower by Rep Fitness. So when you're looking at this online at the website, you have two options. You can do base or no base. And what that means is if you're gonna use it as a standalone unit, you're gonna have to get the base. But the base is gonna offer you some storage places, um, you know, for your weight horns or your attachments or anything like that. If you're having a no base, that means it's just gonna be standalone and you're gonna somehow connect it to your other, um, your squat rack or whatever other upright you have via a pull-up bar or maybe you have um, dumbbell racks that connect it in between to give it that stability. So if you're using it, again, if you're using it just as itself, you're gonna need to get the base so it has that support. And if you're using it and just kind of expanding upon the equipment you already have, you won't have to get the base because the stability is gonna come from whatever way you connect it to your other rack. So this single upright is a three by three with 11 gauge steel. The max loadable capacity of this is 360 pounds, but with the use of resistance bands here, you can go all the way up to 450. Cable pulley ratio is two to one and you have 34 total adjustable positions. The cable sack has 210 pounds and it has a nice magnetic pin. So you push and it just easily grips in. So if you want to do lat pull down, you can either use an existing bench you have or you can add the Pegasus attachment, which we will go over shortly. So you'll pull up your bench. And now you have your capability to use this, this, anything like that. Let's try the pull down. So if you, you can see, right, it's, it's pretty heavy and it's pulling me up. So if you're using this and you want to go heavy, you're going to have to have those clip in leg rollers or else you're going to fly up. good pull, nice and smooth. You have a full range of motion, so you can go all the way up. Like I said, I'm 5'10", so even if you're over six foot, 6'2", six 6'3", six you're still going to have that reach to go all the way up and then come all the way down. And then when you're done, you just store it, takes the tension off, and now we can go to the, um, the movable cable in the middle. Super easy with one hand. weight hoard here does give you the availability to add 5, 10, 15, 20 pounds on each side. It's about six inches, so um, that's where the, the max loadable weight comes in to get up to 360. We have the low row, um, diamond foot plate, various attachment options. I will say this is only going to go in one range of motion. So an upgrade option for this maybe in the future would be have the capability to have a swivel. So you could do some side to side movement instead of just um, forward and backward. That would be my um, suggestion on their, their next version, um, even though this is just brand new. I think that would be an awesome addition. So this foot plate is extendable. There's a pop pin in the back. That way it's adjustable. Um, again, like I said, on the, the 1.0, for the Aries, the 2.0, perhaps having this attachment, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what I mean. This is what I think would be really cool. Instead of this being straight, if they had the capability for this to kind of like go down and come up, that way you can be off the floor. Because you see that I had to sit on the floor to use a low row. So I think this attachment would be really cool if it kind of came out here and then came up. So that way you can sit on a little bit of a box or a bench so you don't have to sit directly on the, on the floor. And then you can even do even more movements. Like I said, with that swivel pulley, if they would update that, um, that would be my recommendation and I think would make this even um, the uh, Adonis 
this 2.0. Maybe, you know, just planting that seed for you guys. So we always say buys for the guys, but we also say curls for the girls. Oh, that's way too heavy. Okay, now we can do some, some curls. I mean, that's okay. I, I want to like come over here because maybe I want, I have some room restriction, but this, this um, pulley only operates forward to back. There's no swivel movement. So I would like some swivel movement with this. I just think that would give it um, a, wide, a wider range of variety and exercises and, and fit different size people. So this is the Pegasus attachment. It fits any one inch hole that you have. So um, that sounded horrible. So it can fit your Adonis, it can fit any of your other racks with a one inch hole. So this weighs 48 and a half pounds. And when you pick it up, all you want to think in your head is, get to the chopper. Cause you feel like it's like a, like a weapon, but it's, a, it's definitely not lightweight. So for females lifting this up, it's going to be, you know, 48 pounds is going to be a little heavy, but we can do it, right? That's why we're here. We're here to get strong. You just stick it in, little peg, and then you're gonna take the bolt clipper, put it in, tighten it up, and there you have it. Ta-da! The Pegasus, you know, flying horse. So the safety rating for the seat is 300 pounds. The leg roller is 500 pounds. So the leg roller you can take off and it'd be separate. So you can remove the seat and just have the leg rollers here. So if you want to brace yourself with the lat pull down or any other exercises, any kind of leg stuff, leg extensions that you want to kind of fabricate on your own, this is 500 pounds. Um, let's go through some of the adjustments. So you have different adjustment options here at the leg roller, as you can see. You can adjust some of the seats right here. So you're gonna pick it up and you can adjust the angle of where you want this all the way up, down, depending on what exercise you wanna do. And then lastly, you have the adjustment underneath of this. So you can do any of the adjustments here. So those are all the adjustments for the Pegasus. So let's get another lat pull down in. So I'm gonna adjust this, bring it in, so it's gonna lock my thighs in so I can't come up. Actually, the Pegasus attachment. So I currently have it on its lowest setting um, and it's I'm not able to get my legs in nice and snug, right? So like it's still some space, which I'm kind of like, hmm, I would like that to be a little lower to just really push my legs down to get me nice and secure. So what I can do is I can lift this up a little, have it more at an angle, and now I have a little bit more of a, um, see so you can see the pressure on my legs, but now my hips are higher than my thighs. So uh, let's just see how that, how that feels. I don't feel comfortable with my hips being higher than my thighs. I don't like that. So hold on. So now I'm going to flatten this out with that seat pad and try that. For me to get in nice and close, um, I'm gonna show you guys. To get my thighs under there, this handle's in the way. So um, thick thighs save lives, but eh, not in this case, because that's a little uncomfortable. We wanna sit a little further back and this still isn't locking in. Uh, you know, um, not sure what I'm doing wrong here. I might be doing something wrong that I'm not aware of, or maybe I'm doing it right and this just isn't a thing for me. But um, this doesn't go any lower. Stick with me here. I'm trying to think things through. So I come a little further back, then I feel like this pad's too wide. I feel like I need to be up here further. I feel like I need, yeah, I feel like I need to be up here further, but then this handle is uncomfortable. If I scoop back, then there's no room here. Let's keep playing around. See, same thing, like I, I move further and this is still here and I still have a gap. So it's, I mean, if I go really heavy, it's not gonna let me come up all the way, but 
I guess this would be where you would just take this off, roll up your bench, and just use um, leg rollers here. Maybe that would be the best option. I don't know. I'm actually not um, thrilled in this moment. I'm kind of like, I could be doing something wrong, and if I am rep, I'm sorry. You guys can go ahead and school me on this, but um, just coming in and using this, this is what I'm seeing, and uh, yeah, you know, not uh, not thrilled with the design of this. I've seen a lot of talk lately about the, this rep Adonis and the other units they're comparing it to from GetRx and Rogue. And let me just recap some of the things that I'm just kind of like, hmm. I like the lat pull down, but it should have a swivel up here so you can have more play in the movement. I like I like the functional trainer part, but just like the um, the Aries 2.0, if I want to store this out of the way, it shouldn't just come all the way back. Like I want it to be able to stay to the side, and it doesn't. And I, I would like that feature. Um, we just went over the um, Pegasus. Unless I'm an idiot and I have no idea what I'm doing, this was not built for um, everyone to use. I think this is um, the, the first one, and there's a lot of things that could change on this to be a little bit better. The low row attachment. Um, definitely, again, it could um, have some modifications to bring it up off the ground as well as a swivel down here. So overall, I can't speak to the other ones that people are comparing this to, but this one, um, it's okay. It's not my favorite.